Seventeen's concert was temporarily suspended because horrific fire broke out on the stage. The fire was seen on the top of the stage among the many light fixtures. Once the staff members noticed the accident, they urged the 17 members to get off the stage. While the fire wasn't massive, it still created a lot of smoke which was a hazard for fans right below it. In several clips and videos carrots can be seen trying to blow the smoke away from them with their 17 merch. There was also the fear that it could grow into a bigger fire very quickly, but the staff quickly prevented any further danger and thankfully everyone is safe and fine. Here's the October Boy Group brand reputation ranking from 1 to 30. Number 1 is 17, number 2 is BTS, 3rd is TWS, 4th Stray Kids, 5th Boy Next Door, 6th Shiny, 7th in Hypen, 8th CB1, 9th, 2PM, 10th The Boys, 11th Rise, 12th Highlight, 13th Astro, 14th 80s, 15th Monsta X, 16th BTOB, 17th Winner, 18th TVXQ, 19th NCT, 20th Super Junior, 21st Crevity, 22nd TXT, 23rd 101, 24th EXO, 25th Pentagon, 26th 1S, 27th Block B, 28th Tempest, 29th GOT7 and 30th on the list are SF9. A teenage fan had been allegedly assaulted after approaching Jesse, according to a report by JTBC, on September 29 the man approached Jesse to ask for a photo with her. According to the 18-year-old victim he was walking to a convenience store when he spotted Jesse and approached her. CCTV footage shows a man in Jesse's group stopping the fan and reportedly swearing at him in English. Jesse reportedly told the fan she could not take a photo and apologized. The fan also apologized and attempted to leave, but then another man punched and kicked him. While the fan was getting the police involved, Jesse's group reportedly left the scene, the police and the fan eventually found the group who claimed they did not know who the fan was. The mother of the victim visited Jesse's agency in person where she was reportedly told that the perpetrator was a Chinese man and didn't know Jesse. Jesse's agency's lawyer has addressed the situation stating that Jesse had nothing to do with the assault and that they would help in finding the perpetrator. Police also stated they would check to see if the individual had left the country and also consult the producer who was reportedly his friend to find out information about the perpetrator. And now Jessie has addressed the issue herself and posted a note saying, Hello, this is Jessie. First of all I sincerely apologize to everyone who may have been disturbed by the reports regarding the recent assault incident involving me. While I was attending a gathering with personal acquaintances, one of my fans who became the victim approached me to ask for a photo. Since it was late at night, I politely declined twice, and in that moment an incident occurred where the fan was suddenly assaulted by someone I met for the first time that day. The situation escalated so quickly that I was also caught off guard and unable to properly handle the situation or look after the fan with care. I deeply regret that my fan had to suffer harm in such an unjust manner, and I feel a great sense of responsibility for my failure to intervene properly. After the incident, both my agency and I have been in contact with the victim's family and are working hard to help the victim find and bring the perpetrator to justice so they can receive an apology and compensation and so the perpetrator is held accountable and properly punished. I kindly request that you refrain from spreading unverified claims or speculative reports related to this incident as it may cause further harm. Boy Next Door is getting flamed for alleged disrespect towards Samsung. Boy Next Door previously endorsed Samsung electronic products including the flip phone. They even had a shoot with Vogue for the brand. The boys had been using Samsung phones and earbuds up to recently, but when they recently appeared at the airport, they were all decked in AirPod Maxes and had their iPhones out for show. While some found the situation entertaining, others wondered why the boys had to go this far to celebrate the end of their contracts with Samsung because Samsung had shown Boy Next Door lots of support, even sending a coffee cart for fans. Netizens expressed their disappointment in the boys, accusing them of not respecting their previous brand clients. I don't think there's anything serious about the situation. Airport is one of the most important places where idols do the paid promotions for the clothes, jewelry, and other accessories. Their contract with Samsung has come to an end, and this was the best way to promote their new brand deal. There's nothing wrong or disrespectful with the situation. It's all about money and business. People don't respect idols' feelings and attack them for small things they do, but they want idols to respect their brand clients. I recently posted a video about people supporting Tay Il even after he got charged with doing art to foreign woman with two of her male friends while she was drunk. 
it's understandable that some of his fans are gonna wait for his case to come to an end and see what the court says, because it's hard for them to accept what he has done, but there are some people who are still supporting him regardless of what he has done. Here are some disturbing comments that I got on that video. Y'all don't know the truth, he was framed, I will die on that hill until the truth comes out, the human courts have failed him but the divine law knows that he is innocent, justice for Tail. First of all some of these people really need to understand that it's not just any crime, it's R. We're so doomed that people are now defending a person who has done R. Though the part is right where the person said that we don't know the truth. But saying that he's innocent when the person just said that we don't know what is the truth, makes us sure that he or she is just defending him and we have found the first patient. Nothing wrong with that. None of your business either. Okay, I wanna say something here. The people who are saying that fans have no right to say anything, lack common sense, because he's famous because of the fans and they do have the right to unstand him, and did this person just say that there's nothing wrong with doing R, anyway we have found the patient number 2. I don't believe this, why would he do that, either way I don't care, music is music, who cares what kind of person the artist is as long as they have a nice voice, yeah you're right though, there's nothing wrong with it. I take my words back when I said that these people should be in the mental hospital, y'all should be locked up with Diddy in his cell, who cares what kind of person he is. As long as he is a talented artist and I bet you'll enjoy your time with him. I'm in love with him but he's not a criminal, when will people realize this, the answer is one word, never, and give back your phone to your mama, let's support him as he reflects on his deeds, no one judge you unless you're without sin, no thank you, we don't want to support AR, we have become really chill as a society. People are saying, oh it's fine, never mind, it's not a big deal about literally every disturbing thing, and what's even scarier is that all of these comments are of women, like if women are not understanding the situation, I don't know who will. After it was announced that Sung Han will rejoin Rise, unlike the international fans, the Korean fans are really angry and they sent flower wreaths to SM Entertainment, which are usually sent to funerals but that wasn't enough for them to take out their anger that now they have broke SM's Kwanya 119 with protest posts saying that Rise is 6. They organized a spamming of the center with their requests for Sung Han to be removed. It seems like their plan worked and, the server broke. If one tries to access the Kwanya 119 page, it simply loads until a server error notice pops up. International fans are expressing disappointment in the whole situation saying that he got back after so many months and Korean fans are acting like he's a criminal, but all he did was to love someone before becoming an idol, it's not a sane reason to ruin someone's career for. Stray Kids, Jimin, JK, Lucera Femme, New Jeans, and Lisa are nominated for the category of Best K-Pop this year at MTV Europe Music Awards, if you're a fan of one of these, go now and vote for them. You can vote multiple times for the same or different people and you can again vote after 24 hours. Good luck with the voting.